Hey, hey, happy Sunday crafternoon. I'm going to make sure I have everything where I need to be. And that way I can see all of you as you say hello. So today is Sunday, the 24th of July. And I have been doing these lives for, I think, over 41 weeks. Hey, Kristen. Hi. Happy Sunday crafternoon to you. In Michigan today, it's kind of cloudy, but I opened up the door because we did get a lot of rain last night. Holy hot cakes. It's like a steam bath out there. So I closed the door and I stayed in my air conditioning. Yowza. <laughs> if that sun comes out today, we are doomed. Oh my goodness sakes. So once again, welcome. It's Sunday Crafternoon with Dawn, and I like to pop on here every Sunday, as often on Sundays as I can at 1 o'clock Eastern Time. So if you are here, if you have not said hello as of yet, go ahead and say hi and where you're viewing from. And make sure to share this with your paper crafting friends, because I always say the more the merrier. Also, um, if you haven't already and you happen to somehow bump into my page and you do enjoy paper crafting, Go ahead and hit the like button. And uh, one other thing, uh, I do put these videos onto YouTube. So if you do want to replay it later, either check out my blog, which is dawnscreativechalet.com, or you can hop on over to YouTube and view it there as well and share it. And that's Dawn's Creative Chalet channel. And go ahead, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell. That way you get all the notifications every time I do upload something on the YouTube. All right, whew, that was a lot of stuff, huh? Also, up above, you're going to see a link that uh, puts you to a landing page to go ahead and sign up for my email newsletter. And I email at least once a week to keep everybody posted on the latest and greatest happenings. Hey, Evelyn, how you doing? Happy Sunday crafternoon to you over on the other side of town. <laughs> so a couple things uh, I do want to go, I guess, through with you guys since we talk about what's current and happening right here at the chalet. The first thing is this. This right here. <laughs> this is... Um, a beautiful planner that you can get for free when you go ahead and you purchase the uh, starter kit and become a part of my amazing tribe, the Chalet Stampers. So along with uh, going to being able to choose $125 in product and let's see here, you'll get also this amazing group bunch of stuff, which is a planner, uh, some journals, and check out this so you can go ahead and if you're a stamper you know got to stamp in those journals make it pretty um also you can add photos and things like that into your into your um planner as well but anyway i wanted to run that by you guys like i said you get to pick under 25 dollars a product for 99 there is free shipping which anymore i take free shipping whenever i can get it hey kathy how you doing hello hello also, um, they throw in a paper pumpkin kit, so it's a pretty good deal. And if you are wanting some of the stuff that I'm going to be showing today to make our little make and takes, um, you may want to go ahead and just purchase the kit because why not get the discount on all the things that I can get a discount on too, right? I'm sharing the love. <laughs> And I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't share that with you guys. So it's always an opportunity out there. You don't need to be doing classes and all of this stuff. You can be a hobbyist, as we call them, very savvy shoppers. And I have a lot of them on my team all over the U.S. So you can enjoy being a demonstrator without really doing a lot, but getting the discount and collecting all the goodies, right? We love that. <laughs> All right, for some reason on my laptop, this is showing up kind of goofy. So give me just a second here. I just don't want to miss anybody's comments or anything because, you know, that's what this is all about, right? So we can kind of communicate together. 
So let's go through some other stuff that's going on. Um, first of all, just want to remind everybody, I did make a post about this yesterday, I think. All my days are blending together. But this stamp set that is in the holiday or the July through December, whatever you call that catalog. I call it the holiday mini catalog. Old habits die hard. Anyway, this was not available for a little while, but Stampin' Up! does make their own stamps. So I knew it wouldn't take very long, but a lot of people wanted this because in celebration we have the tree lot dies. And I believe I free, goodness sakes, I can't talk today. I featured these last Sunday because what I'm trying to do is feature a new celebration product every week until we run out of stuff, right? Or until they sell out of more stuff. So if you were thinking about getting this, um, and I kept telling everybody, continue to grab this. Grab these tree lot dies because once uh, things, basically, once they sell out, they're out. They're not going to replenish anything in celebration. So I was like, get them, get them anyway, because I know we're going to get this. And it is back. So it is item number 159785. So if you want it, grab it up, because now you can use it with your dies. Okay, wanted to make sure I let you guys know that. Also, some other happenings that are going on here at the chalet. This Thursday, for those of you who did sign up for that product-based class, uh, that's happening in the morning on Thursday at 10 o'clock. I look forward to seeing you guys. This class, unfortunately, is already closed because I do need a two-week RSVP in advance for my product classes, and I'll show you why. Because with that, what I do is I include product with the class, which is kind of fun, right? It's like getting a little Christmas gift every product class that you attend with me. And so this is going to include the full pack of the DSP, the 12 by 12 of the Hues of Happiness, along with a bolt of ribbon and an embellishment, which this time I chose these glossy dots. I think they're so pretty and they're sparkly. And, you know, me and bling just kind of go together like peas and carrots. So anyway, that's what's happening on Thursday. So if you like the look of getting product with your class, you might want to make sure you contact me if you're local, okay? And the next one will be some fun stuff, too, with Rustic Harvest. Anyway, I'm jumping ahead of myself. I digress. <laughs> this Friday is... Starbucks Sip and Stamp, the, the Starbucks up the road here in Ludington, Michigan. We're going to have coffee and a card Sip and Stamp from noon until 2 p.m. So make sure you come and join me. Hey, Jamie, how you doing down there? Down there, right? <laughs> like you're way far south. Oh. Anyway, so Starbucks Coffee and a Card Sip and Stamp this Friday July the 29th, noon until 2 p.m., and I hope that you'll come on over and join me. That's a lot of fun, and you don't need to purchase, um, like, a drink or anything like that. Just come over and say hi. I got my pink drink today. <laughs> I can't be without the pink drink. Okay, also, as we get into August, we have the Creative Card Class and another product-based class. So the Creative Card Class is on Thursday, August the 11th, and it's 25 bucks or free with a minimum order. And where did I put that class? Oh, ha, it's right behind me. So anyway, we'll be, ma bleh, we'll be making some fun things. My tongue gets so tied. I think when I get on here, I just get really excited, and then I'm like trying to talk so fast that I can't talk. <laughs> Does that make any sense? <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. Anyway, so this is Creative Card Class, and it's free with a minimum order when you are here. And that's going to be on the 11th of August, which is on a Thursday. And I have 10 a.m., 1 p.m., or 6.30 p.m. Hi, Donna, how you doing? Thanks for joining us for Sunday Crafternoon. And then as we get into the latter part of August, 
I actually bumped this up a week because I'm going to be gone to a Stampin' Up! function down in New Orleans. Oh, poor me. Actually, it might be poor me because I hear it's sweltering hot <laughs> and humid. So that'll be interesting, but it'll be a lot of fun. It's a Stampin' Up! event, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, so I bumped this up one week. So the product class normally is on the fourth Thursday of the month. We're bumping it up to the 18th, and this is going to include product, which is going to um, have the leaf labels and the amber gems, the DSP, and also some linen thread. And just to whoop, whoop, give you a quick flash of the cards there. So anyway, contact me if you're interested in that. Also, for those of you who attended my BOGO, be on the lookout for a phone call, text message from me. Um, that stuff should be on its way. Like, I should be expecting that no later than Friday. As soon as I get it, I'll be ripping those boxes open and sorting all the goodies for all of you and then contacting you to come on over to the chalet and pick it on up so you have new product and toys to play with. And then as we get into September, um, of course, creative card class and another product-based class. So lots of stuff going on, you guys, a lot of fun. And as I get more dates on Starbucks as well, I'll be letting you know on that. So yeah, fun, fun, fun. Let's see, what else? Oh, there is another thingy I wanna talk about before we go any further. So you guys know I love Paper Pumpkin, I just do. And this is what is going to be the August kit, which is very appropriate, right? Sunflowers. Sunflowers are one of my favorite flowers. Even the box is going to be pretty. Check that out, you guys. It's gorgeous. <laughs> I'm going to be a box hoarder here pretty soon. But anyway, with that being said, if you do not subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, but you want this kit, you can purchase a prepaid subscription. Or you can do what I do. I have an ongoing, but what I need to do before the end of Celebration is do what I'm going to suggest to all of you. With Celebration, of course, you can get free items depending on purchases, right? And that it starts at $50. Every $50 increments or $100 increments, we call them level one and level two. You can get free stuff. We love free stuff. So with that being said, I printed this up. I just wanted to share it with you guys. So with the prepaid subscriptions, if you started a three month, um, I think that's six, yep, $67.50. And at that point, because you're spending a minimum of 50 bucks, you're gonna get a free celebration item. So that's a pretty awesome deal, right? And then we go further. If you spend the $122.50 to pay in advance for a six month subscription, you're going to get either two level ones or one level two free item out of celebration. Yay. <laughs> and then if we go a little further, and if you're loving the pumpkin anyway, why not purchase a prepaid 12 month subscription, which is 235, okay? And that way you don't have to worry about it for a year. And you're going to receive either four level ones or two level twos out of here like immediately. So how this works is you would go to my online store and if you do spend a minimum of $150, do not use the host code. Use those Stampin' Rewards for you. That's basically a free product credit that you can use while you're ordering to get something else for free or close to free, okay? But anyway, if your order is under 150, please use the July host code. And then what you would do is you would put the subscription that you would like to get. Make sure before you check out that you are um, giving the correct email address. And this is really important, you guys. So then what happens is once you've paid for your subscription, you're going to receive an email directly from Paper Pumpkin. Super simple, but what you need to do is activate your subscription, especially if you want it starting in August to get that beautiful kit. Hey, Steph. Hello, hello there. Hey, hey. 
Um, so what you want to do is make sure you activate that. And if you have a problem, call me because I want to make sure that you get what you're looking for, right? So your pumpkin isn't going to start arriving to you until you activate your subscription. So I, I know I've said this like four times, but that's really, 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 really important that you do that. Otherwise, you're going to be waiting and waiting and waiting saying, well, I paid for this. How come I'm not getting it? It's because you have to activate your subscription. So anyway, with that being said, you can get free stuff out of here right now by purchasing a minimum of a three month um, paper pumpkin subscription. So I wanted to throw that out there. I know that that gets overlooked a lot and I almost forgot about it. I have an ongoing subscription. So what you can do is you can add this to that, if that makes sense. And let's see, what else? Oh, and speaking of paper pumpkin, let me just give you guys a sneak peek for those that don't get it. This was the kit for July. So I just got the kit and I was like so excited. I put it together right away. So in this particular kit, there are three different designs and three of each card. All the embellishments were given. Um, of course, a stamp set as well an ink spot, and there's actually a few extra embellishments to stamp on, probably in case you make a boo-boo, because I know I do that. <laughs> so this was one of the cards here. Isn't it cute? Love it. And then here was the second design, and I, I thought this was so cool. It was embossed already for us, so that made it super easy. I, I love these kits because they're great for beginner to advanced crafters which I think is awesome. Like for me personally, I've been a paper crafter for many years. I love that this is already done for me. I love the fact that I can sit down and enjoy a little bit of stamping for myself. It's just um, some me time really. Um, but it would also be fun if you had a few girlfriends that you want to get together with or guy friends, whatever, and maybe have, you know, wine, cheese. You never know what you might come up with after a few glasses of wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness sakes or kool-aid you know anyway and then this is the third design right here and i again think this is so pretty and it was the clouds were embossed into it and all the coloring behind was all done already so it made me look like i was really 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 artsy and really the only stamping i did was the boat inside of the um bottle and the sentiment how easy is that, right? Anyway, so if you're wondering about what is paper pumpkin, because I know that seems like nothing to do with a pumpkin, <laughs> but this is what they're all about. They're just a lot of fun and a nice um, break from everyday life, right? It's kind of nice to take a break from everyday life. And by the way, these things travel really, really well. I've done that myself in the car, on the plane, on a train, you name it, they go with camping. This is great to spend some quality time with your kids or grandkids, uh, rainy day activity, all that good stuff. Birthdays, you name it. Anyway, that's all about the pumpkin. Okay, was there anything else? I think I covered it all. So you guys ready to do some stamping? <laughs> so today I am going to feature amazing phrasing. And where did... There it is. Okay, so we're going to thumb through here. And this particular stamp set is a level two. So there it is right there. A level two, that means with a $100 minimum purchase before shipping and tax, you can earn this for free. How cool is that? I am a font fanatic. And I know I've said this to you guys time and time again. I love fonts. I love the whimsical attitude that this particular stamp set projects, right? It just says, I'm fun and I'm sassy. I don't know. I, I dig it. So anyway, we're going to make three different cards using this set. And then I'm going to show you afterwards um, some swap cards that I received back or some other cards that I've made personally using this set as well, just to give you guys 
a few more ideas, right? And just an FYI, as long as it doesn't sell out because we've had one product in here already not become available. If it's still available next week, we'll be featuring this, which is a silver and gold six by six paper. I know that's really hard to see, but it's easier to see in person-ish, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, it's it's beautiful, and we're gonna we're gonna play with that, see what we can do with it. It doesn't look real exciting in here. I didn't, I mean, that was my attitude on it until I received it and started playing with it. I was like, okay, I'm in love. But anyway, today, this is what we're working with. Amazing phrasing. Say that 10 times fast. It's like a tongue twister. Okay, so with that, let's do some fun creating. So first of all, we're going to make this card right here. It kind of looks familiar, right? I did something similar, but with a different sentiment set. Whereas today we're going to use I Miss You, which is in this set here. So the paper that you see, the DSP and the flowers that I cut out are also celebration products, which is wonderful, wonderful world, which is in the back of the celebration brochure. And that is also, it's a pack of paper and a stamp set together. And that is for a level two, $100 purchase as well, okay? So let's go ahead and get started on that. I got a couple of extra bits and goodies in case I messed up, because, <laughs> you know, that happens. Okay, first of all, what I use is a piece of pear pizzazz cardstock. I cut it at four and a quarter by 11. I scored it at five and a half. Go ahead and take my bone folder and give that nice crisp, crease of the paper and then this piece of dsp from wonderful world i cut it four by five and a quarter i'm gonna go ahead and put that down before i lose it because everything on my table is considered a losable until it's attached once it's attached it's harder to lose right and then i used a piece that i can't seem to pick up here um, basic white. I use the deckled rectangle dies. I'm going to show these to you guys again. I think I was showing you these last week. These are really cool. I really like that vintagey look and stuff. And I think these are just a lot of fun. So as you can see, when they cut, they cut out a kind of a deckel. It's, they're really cool. So I don't have to do any of the hard work. I just run it through my die cut machine. Love it. Easy for me is the bomb diggity. <laughs> and I hope I don't get in trouble for saying, you know, the B word. <gasps> Never know with Facebook. Okay, so I've cut this out of the paper. <laughs> I, I gotta laugh at myself. I'm such a dork. Anyway, I cut this out of the DSP. I'm going to go ahead and, of course, using these wonderful things called dimensionals, we're going to go ahead and stick this little puppy down with those. I was, I'm sorry, Steph, I was reading what you're saying. How have I not seen those dies yet? I know, right? So probably the reason why you may have missed them is that they are, first of all, they're in the annual catalog, of course, all of our, our goodies are, right? All of our tools, so to speak. Um, oh, I just noticed I cut, <laughs> that's okay, we're gonna use him anyway. Um, we'll just cover that right on up and nobody will ever know, it's our secret. Um, those are standalone dies. They really don't coordinate like with a bundle, so to speak. I mean, th they go with everything, obviously. But I think the reason why they're getting overlooked is because they're like um, a standalone die set. Kind of like the other ones that I'm going to use. These right here. The stylish shapes are more like, I call them a standalone die set. And they're not really like designated with any one particular bundle if that makes sense. So some of these are getting lost and they're the best ones ever, right? 
So also on this card, I'm going to be using this right here, this die. Because again, I love the whole dovetail thing being done for me and it's also stitched and I love that. So I've already cut it out and then we're going to use, maybe, I forgot to get out my ink. My goodness. Okay, so pear pizzazz ink. I'm going to use a block D that's full of gunk. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's awful. And then we're going to find, see I didn't even pull these out. My gosh, that's okay. I like to hang out with you guys. This way I get to hang out with you longer. Have you ever noticed, and I know I said this last week, that as you get into stamping, um, there it is, you get to get used to reading things backwards because, of, you know, stamp sets. Anyway, no wonder why I'm dyslexic half the time. <laughs> I'm trying to read it like a stamp set. Okay, so this says, I miss you. And if you guys have used our ink pads you're going to notice that you don't want to give the thing CPR, like our really old pads. They were more like a felt pad. Um, and you did have to literally give it like CPR to ink something up, ink a stamp. But these are awesome. And normally you just want to tap, tap, tap lightly. Don't, don't, you know, give it CPR because you'll have a hot mess of ink all over the place. Just saying. Okay. So, where did my, where did my thingamabobby go? My Simply Chamois. See, I remember the name of it this time. <laughs> so in place, I'll forget something else. Anyway, so that is just using a set of the big and bold with the smaller um, font in this particular set. We just want a little miss you. And we're just gonna stick that there for now. Anyway. I'm gonna go ahead, take my dimensionals once again, and I'm gonna hide where I've chopped off the, um, the stem because that's how we fix things when we stamp, right? <laughs> and nobody will ever know it's our secret. So I wanna make sure I'm doing this correctly. There we go. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and stick this little guy on like so. See? Look at that. No one will ever know. And I'm going to go ahead and put these on the back of the deckled rectangle. And then peel the backs off so we can use that sticky. For those of you who are newer to stamping, like this is the best invention ever are these little guys. Um, other than the fact that these get all over the place in the house. <laughs> ask me how I know and the vacuum doesn't even like to pick them up very well so it's like a, a constant bending exercise so I can work on my core as I clean my house okay there we are and one last thing I always like to cut a piece of basic white at four by five and a quarter to put as a liner inside my card, just like so. And there's card number one. Give me some, give me some love. Let me see those hearts. That's true stuff. It wouldn't be crafting if we didn't make a mess or a mistake as far as that goes in my world. Oh, I forgot to add these little do, do jabbies. Um, these are the 21, 23 in color opal rounds. Go ahead and get my pick tool. We'll add just a little bit more color to these. Yeah, whoops, almost lost him. He was gonna go a flying. And then we'll put one right there and let's see, that one there. Okay, there we go. Card number one is complete. Whoop, whoop. Okay, let's see. Card number two. Oh, this card. So there's a little bit more to this card, but it's a fun card. And I started to kind of lay it out and play with it because 
Since we're actually going to do something completely different than the two, whoops, I don't want to show that one yet, um, than the two that I did do. I thought these were a lot of fun. Um, of course, I love the hippos. The hippos, oh, thanks, Jamie. Um, I'll be featuring in a couple of weeks, providing, cross fingers, that they do not sell out um, from celebration because they are, they have been, they are very popular and I have so many samples to show you guys with the hippos, but I kind of wanted to mix the hippo set um, in, oh my gosh, I keep, what is wrong with me today? I keep losing my stuff. So just to mention really quick, even though we're not really talking about hippos, we will. So the Hip is Hippo stamp set, you can um, collect with the $50 minimum order. And then also we have these awesome dies where you'll see I'm going to be using on this card this little set of hearts. But we're going to mix it with amazing phrasing. And we're going to use the Stamparatus today and see what kind of a mess Dawn can make. Yay! <laughs> so anyway, with that, I was just playing around different color combinations, seeing what I liked, and I had a bunch of these little hippos that I had cut out. And I thought, you know, that would be kind of fun to mix them together and do something with the both, both of them together to kind of showcase since it's all celebration, right? So these were the two cards I made, and I used, there's three little hippos. There's this little guy. There's this one here that's holding the flower. And then there's this cute little ballerina. And if you guys know me, I'm into pink, right? So I thought, you know, let's do something with, with this cute little thing. And like I said, I cut out the hearts with that little heart die and it cuts out, I think, yeah, three of them. So there are three different sizes. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with it other than I was thinking maybe either along the left or along the right, maybe stack the ballerinas together. Um, I'm not real sure. But before we get going on that, grab my Stamparatus here. Now, um, it's funny that when you don't use something for a while, you lose it, so to speak. <laughs> and I have not used my Stamparatus in a little while. So when I first started playing with it, it was kind of comical the other day. I'm like, I know I've used this before. I'm smarter than the Stamparatus, but why can't I figure it out? And then all of a sudden it just like the light bulb went off. Have you guys ever had that happen? Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm using the grid paper. You can purchase more of, and then there's also this little foam sheet that I'm going to use underneath it because this is a photopolymer stamp set and it needs a little extra cushion, so to speak. And I think, let's do, oops, probably wouldn't be a good one, huh? Especially if she's doing the on point thing with her little ballerina shoes. Let's do amazing. Because I say that word an awful lot. Amazing, because you are amazing. And I appreciate you guys. So the next thing I do, once I center it where I want it, and I usually use a corner of um, the grid paper, of what do you call it, a square. <laughs> and I'm going to take this stamp and I'm gonna position it, hmm, let's see, we're gonna do it where we're gonna stack the ballerinas, I think, just like I thought I was going to do. So you're gonna position your stamp this is one of two plates that our Stamparatus comes with. Now, what's really different about our stamp positioner compared to other stamp positioners, ours has a double hinge on it. Yep, you guys can see it. I was thinking maybe I cut off the frame. Anyway, so what's really cool about it is that if you have several stamps that you want to add to your work environment, you can do that by adding, where did I put, oh, here it is. Like I said, I'm losing everything today. 
you can take the second plate and stick it on top. That way you can be inking something up, stamping it down, and then inking something up on this plate where it's positioned and then stamp it. The other thing I love about this Stamparatus that I remembered as I was playing is that if for some reason, as long as you don't move anything, and if you do not get that nice um, crisp image, full image, inked up and stamped on your piece of paper, what's really cool, as long as you haven't moved anything, you can re-ink your stamp and stamp it again. No one's ever going to know, and it looks like you did a professional job. Very cool thing about our Stamparatus. The other thing that I really am digging, for those of you who don't know this little trick, stacking a sentiment. So I've been seeing this done a lot, and I really love the look. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is um, we're going to use this, and I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move my plate, not the piece of paper to do it. So as you can see on the Stamparatus, these are one inch increments. So we can move the plate and not the paper. That's right, Kathy. Actually, you can do four because you can put a stamp on the back side as well. You are on it, girlfriend. And yes, because I have done that. <laughs> it's confused my customers when we've done that before, but you can do that. So if you are really into that kind of thing and you have everything positioned just right, you can really go to town and actually use four different stamps, two or one on each side, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna stack a sentiment and then we're going to move the plate one inch. This is gonna be really super cool and it's so easy. So for those of you who have never seen the Stamparatus in action, you're gonna be like, I have to have one of these, right? For those of you who've done this before, that's okay, just grab a Starbucks and just enjoy the comical, um, or the comedy that I'm giving, not. <laughs> okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, I can fit five on here, and I picked Melon Mambo and Polished Pink. I mean, we're gonna just really pink, pink, pink this right up. Well, maybe not. Well, I don't know, what do you guys think? This is Polished Pink. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay, never mind. I'm thinking, thinking out loud, but we're going to go ahead. Maybe we'll just do, I don't know. We'll see. What do you guys think? You help me out here. Should we do two different, two different colors? I mean, I can. Let me get my uh, Simply Chamois out here. We'll have that to clean up any mess. Oh, why not? Let's just go for it. And for some reason, this is so weird. I see more comments today on my laptop than I do on my iPad, which is very bizarro. But, you know, that's okay. Okay, so now we're going to move this down one notch. So we moved it down an inch. And I just used Melon Mambo. Now we're going to use Polish Pink going to be a super pink card so anybody who loves pink you know so there we go that's number two and then we'll grab melon mambo make sure we remember to move that down a notch there we are clean off the stamp polish pink Yep, got to move it down. You just can't be daydreaming, right? <laughs> got to remember, move the plate. Whoops, and then the last color will be Melon Mambo. Every time I say Melon Mambo, I think of that song, Mambo Number 5. You guys remember that song? All right. Ta-da! And there we go. Pretty fun, right? And I'm looking for where I put, oh my gosh, there it is, right in front of me. <laughs> the story of my life. Okay, there. 
So we got that done. So we're done with the Stamparatus, but isn't that cool? I think that that's a lot of fun. And you know, this thing comes in handy, like uh, when you're making a gazillion Christmas cards. It's You can use it like a production line. It's pretty, pretty awesome stuff. So now what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my Memento Black ink and we're going to mix and match here the sentiment and I want you are if I can find it quickly do 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 let's see where is the you are there it is And actually, I really should be using this guy. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And ink this up. I'm afraid I might not have enough room on that top area. So we're just gonna do that. I'm gonna do it three times. And then, I don't know, maybe just one. What do you guys think? Should we, well, you know, honestly, that might, yeah, that might block all that fun font. We're just gonna use her, just her. And move that aside. Let's go ahead. Oops, and add dimensionals. So what's everybody been up to this weekend? Anything fun, exciting? I've worked on my farmer's tan. I have a great farmer's tan now. The last three days, I've been doing some landscaping and I've decided that I'm glad that it's done. <laughs> put it that way Let's see while we're at it I'm going to go ahead and put the liner inside the card this is a piece of four by five and a quarter basic white and I forgot to tell you although you guys could probably figure it out but just in case this is polished pink and I had cut it at four and a quarter by 11 scored it at five and a half all right so I've already colored her and I'll show you what I used on her. In fact, I do want to do a little bit of an outline, I think. But um, I used blends. So this is polished pink, both the light and the dark. And then also smoky slate, light and dark, and the color lifter, which some people forget to get and I'm really loving the color lifter. For sure. So I'm going to go ahead and just outline her a little bit. Isn't she stinking cute? Oh my gosh. I really, really, really am digging this set. So I am not a very good color person. So for me, just outlining is a good thing. Like I just, I don't know. I don't feel like I stay within the lines good. <laughs> Probably because I just don't. I wonder if that's like a personality trait. If you do not stay in the lines. Um, no, I'm thinking I forgot to color the bottom of her tutu. So right now she's a little bit exposed. So we better color her up, huh? Let's make sure she's got <laughs> the bottom of her tutu all set. There we go. Okay. All right, there we are. And then I want to go ahead and just, I think, pop her up. Mm, maybe like that. And put her on with a few dimensionals as well. And then we'll play with those little hearts that I cut out. So I thought that would be kind of neat. Whoop. 
Oops, she's on point, so we need to make sure she's on her tippy toes. Oh, isn't that cute? And then I'm going to take the green glue that's not green. And let's see here, we have, we have a few hearts here. They're so darn cute. These little itty bitty guys, I have a feeling I'm going to lose in about five hot seconds. Um, let's do this though. Oh shoot, let's not. One moment, please. That is a little too much glue. Yowza. Okay. We're gonna put the big heart right there. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna hide that little goobery mess. Okay, there we go. So never squeeze the green glue said one who squeezed the green glue. Um, it does make a mess. Oh, we'll see here. We'll put this guy like so. And we'll try to use this itty bitty guy before we lose him. I love this little tip on here. I know last week I was talking about poster putty. That's exactly what it reminds me of from my college days when I would hang my um, my posters because we couldn't do damage to the walls. Anyway, it's good stuff. Okay, and then let's see here. We'll do this one. He's so cute. And then the itty itty bitty guy. But I want him right side up, maybe. Uh-oh, he fell off. Oh my gosh. Hot mess time. <laughs> there we go. And then I want this one right side up. There, no, grab it. Now it's stuck to my finger because I got glue on my finger. Okay, there we go. Ta-da! Card number two. Shoo. <laughs> So, again, it's just a cool way to use your Stamparatus and um, the stamp set. Kind of neat. So what do you guys think of card number two? Hello, Laura. Thanks for joining us. Happy Sunday Crafternoon. Okay, so the last card I really loved and... Um, this is actually my favorite, and this is the easiest card. Go figure, right? So we're going to use this set right here. How many of you guys have this set or have overlooked it completely? Thanks, Terry, and hello. Happy Sunday afternoon. So this is a set at first I wasn't real keen on, and I think I've used it for one other live. Um, I dig it. I love it. So check this out. Isn't that fun? I love the bright pop of color. And out of this, this time I'm using this shape right here. It's a pretty economical set. It's only 21 bucks. And you can do some really fun things with this. I think, oh, the other card that I used with this was using the vintage, vintage bottles, something like that, that's new. In the annual catalog but anyway so we're gonna use this one right here and grab that out of there and put it on my block okay so we got that all set to go now mine had a little funky indentation in it and sometimes when that happens um, I was going to show you the eraser I use. But anyway, just use an eraser on it and kind of rub into it. And sometimes it helps to take those little imperfections out that sometimes happen, just happens. And then clean it really good. And you can kind of see here what I'm talking about. Um, I know that it's supposed to look a little different. It's not supposed to be a solid image. It's supposed to give that, I don't know, like watercolor, watercolor shape. Um, just like they show here. But it actually had this, well, mine was just really bright. It had a lighter, I don't know. Anyway, you know what I mean. So I was trying to take care of it with an eraser, and sometimes that does help. Okay, so with that, 
I'm going to go ahead and get my piercing mat. And where did my stuff go? Oh, yes, Dawn, it's right in front of you again. Whoops. I had stuff from the other card here. Okay, so first of all, I cut my pieces of cardstock, and we can make both together because it only takes a matter of a couple minutes. So I cut my cardstock at four and a quarter by 11, once again, scored at five and a half for both pieces. This is Bermuda Bay, this is Parakeet Party, and I love the mix and match of these two colors together. I think it's like a happy marriage. They're just fun. They're happy colors together. And then um, I'm going to be using Bermuda Bay, Starry Sky, um, and, and, and Parakeet Party ink. And then also this right here is going to be our layer that we're going to stamp our sentiment onto. And it's basic white and it's cut at two and a half by three and a half. And then we have our liner, which is four by five and a quarter for the inside of the cards. So we're just going to set the liners aside for now so I can lose them. <laughs> hey, what can I say? And then we're going to go ahead. I had already pre-scored, so I'm going to take the good old bone folder that's attaching to my dimensionals. And we're going to go ahead and just score those. So that's all set. Set those aside. And these are two pieces at two and a half by three and a half. And let's see. I didn't get those out either. Oh my goodness sakes. One moment, please. Here I thought I was all prepared and I was not. Okay. So first of all, let's start out with the lighter color. Parakeet Party. And I'm going to stamp this four times onto one, one of the pieces here. I'm going to start from the bottom. And then I'm going to do the top. Whoops, and you guys can't see everything. Let me move this into the frame. And then carefully, I'm going to try to, and I just eyeballed this last time. All right. I did pretty good, <laughs> considering I'm not using the Stamparatus. I'm just eyeballing it. And then, uh, let's see here, Bermuda Bay. So on this card, I actually stamped off once because I thought it was so dark. But let's go ahead, we're going to experiment and just do it full strength this time and see how it goes. Yeah, see, to me that just seems really dark. But we're going to roll with it. All right, not too bad, right? For not using the Stamparatus. And having crooked eyeballs, not too shabby. And then, going to take the hey, 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 maybe. What did I do with my hay? My hay ran away? Or did I have it out? And I didn't know it. Oh, there it is. Silly me. So I need that one, and I also need, you did it. Uh, let's see here, there it is. Yes, awesome. Okay, so we're gonna attach both of these on our blocks. And then I used, this beautiful new in color. Of course, they're all beautiful, right? All five of our new in colors are so cool. But I'm going to use Starry Sky. This is like a bright, like electric purpley blue. Uh, it's such a cool color. 
I know, I've said that already, but I just, I really, really, really dig it. And we're just gonna put, hey. And it doesn't have to be, you know, perfect. Said the perfectionist. <laughs> and there we go. And a hay here. And then, you did it. Yeah, I think I liked it stamped off once. I think that Bermuda Bay, it's beautiful, but it is a little dark. Okay, so that takes care of that part. And then these little hearts here, I'm trying to think of where, <laughs> which set, because uh, it was not the hippos that I got these from. And I prepared this live like last Sunday and I'm having a like brain fart on which it was. Hmm, it wasn't give it a whirl because I've used those before, but it's a single die. I know that because I cut it out of paper. <laughs> so I can't remember. So I apologize for that. Anyway, we're going to use mini glue dots. And I want to pop up that heart. I just think it's so cute. And I wish I could remember. So if somebody happens to have maybe a team member who's here. Because I know a couple of my tribe are here with me today. If you guys happen to find it in the back of the book, and I'm thinking annual catalog. Um, help me out. Because <laughs> I know I'll be asked otherwise. Whoops. Oh, goodness. I just bent my heart. Well, this is, at least it's not a broken heart. Okay. There we go. Super cute, right? And then we're going to go ahead and just attach them to the card fronts. So we're going to put this on here and this on here. And again, dimensionals. Oh my goodness sakes. And I just threw them to, there they are, underneath the stamp set. I'm like, I know I just had those. Goodness sakes. That's what takes me the longest when I'm creating is finding all the stuff on my table that's in front of me that I'm not seeing. How many times has that happened to you guys? Like, it's only in front of my face, but do you think I can find it? No. <laughs> all right, and then peel these off. Like so. And just kind of eyeball it being in the center, and you're good to go. And then I just have to remember to put my liner, whoops, inside the card. Just like that. And these. One's good to go. And there we are. And that, my friends, is card number three. Ta-da! So we have our, we'll do two of these little amazings. Amazing. And the miss you. How fun, right? Whoops. And it help if you could see all of the card. All right, so don't go anywhere because I have just a couple more bits of inspiration for you guys. But which one do you like the best? Which is your favorite? And I'll be asking that on uh, Facebook later because I did take a picture of all three. Um, although we won't get this one in it because we just were winging that today. 
But let me know, what, what did you like the best? Okay, now with that, let's go ahead and show you guys some other fun cards. And some of these I apologize because I've lost the name of who did them because I've taken them in and out of the envelopes. And I forgot to put the names back with them. But some of these are swap cards, so I didn't personally make them. So if you happen to be one of these people that were the creator, holler out, let me know, I made that card. Hey, hello, hello. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Oh, thanks. Well, I'm glad that you guys like the hippo. The hippos are cute. How can you not like them? They make you smile. So um, here's a card using some of the celebration paper, right? The rings of love. And they use the sentiment, hey, good looking. I think that's really, really cute. And this one, I don't remember who created this. I'm so sorry. But it was a swap card. And I love swapping because... I love different flavors of stamping that other people do. Now, this is super cute as well. This one was made by Carrie Todd, and she used, again, some of the celebration paper. Whoops, that wasn't that set. But anyway, it's cute nonetheless, because I think what I was doing, <laughs> that's kind of funny, Dawn. It was this card that I meant to grab. But this is a cute card, Carrie. Thank you. But anyway, we need to feature the right set. <laughs> It's one of those days, you guys. Oh, my goodness. So this, again, is the amazing phrasing and using that really cool um, plaid in the DSP. <laughs> oh, my goodness sakes. I have to laugh at myself because <laughs> why not? Again, using the celebration paper. This is really cute using the tag dies. And again, using that really cool, amazing phrasing stamp set. And this is a really cute card too. I made something very similar to this, uh, but yet a little different with the same DSP and using the amazing phrasing. Isn't that cool? I love that pattern in the pack. It is really pretty. And basically just cut out the medallion that's in the paper. Just fussy cut it. This card right here is so stinking cute, you guys. This was made by my friend Lori Healing. Look at this. <laughs> is that not adorable? And even has the little, um, what do you call it, the hole in the bucket. And he's peeking out the, the bucket as he's falling in backwards. I think that is just so darn cute. But the oops is from Amazing Phrasing. And then here's the card that I made, again, cutting out the medallion and using the hey and the I miss you out of that set. And this is that celebration paper, once again. So pretty. And then the last one is another card that I made. And I may have shown you guys this card before. I don't remember. But anyway, um, the hippos. This is our heart punch, which is like two, two punches that you get together. The outline punch and the other punch anyway and then I blended in the background with the blender fuzzy thing <laughs> oh Dawn and then um, adding the sentiment you are amazing in it and then of course gotta have a little bit of bling in there right so those are the red rhinestones in that card so that's the inspiration that I have for you that I had out in my classroom and I thought I'd bring it in here but anyway, I want to thank you guys for hanging in there with me today. My goodness, I thought I was a little better prepared, but I guess I wasn't. But that's okay. We made it through it, and that's what counts. Blending brushes. Thank you, Kathy. Yes. You know, it never fails how many times I can screw something up in a live. I, I gotta laugh. Anyway, it's fun, and I just like hanging out with you guys, right? But thank you, Kathy, so much. Um, thank you everybody for hanging out with me today. I hope that you have a good rest of your weekend and I will see you next week for Sunday Crafternoon with Dawn at 1 p.m. Eastern time right here. Uh, if you guys have any questions on anything that you've seen today, just send me a message and I will try to answer you as quickly as possible. Otherwise, have a great day and be crafty. Bye-bye.